Let's look at how to use the Google Drive app. So here I am, I'm in my student account for Google Drive, and you can see that it's not organized at all right now. So I need to start by making sure I've got it organized. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tap the plus on the bottom right corner, and I'm going to select folder. Now, if you used Google Drive in previous years, you might have all of those folders um, still sitting there. I would like you to please make sure that you save those folders. You might want to reference them later. So what you can do is create a new folder. You can call it Poslins Cayman. You can call it 2016-2017. Um, you can call it old school work, whatever it is that works best for you. But you're going to make sure that everything you have in your Google Drive that's not for this year goes into that file. So while we're at it, let's look at how to do that. If you tap on those three dot dot dots next to um, the title of an image, which by the way, all of these should be titled. They shouldn't be called untitled. Um, that's very difficult to keep them organized that way. So let's rename them anyway while we're at it. So those dot dot dots, you're gonna tap on those and select rename if you need to rename your work, if you didn't name it. Um, so this is a perspective image, rename. And now that I've got it named, I'm gonna go ahead and move it. So here you can select move, my drive and here I'm going to select old school work and move here and now it's there let's do this with my other images as well so what you're going to do now is you're going to tap on that plus again on the lower right corner select folder and create a folder for each of the subjects that you're taking this year All right, so let's say that this is all of my uh, subjects and I'm ready to go. So I just wanted to draw your attention to a couple of other things here. Um, there is a folder that's automatically created for you called Classroom. In that folder are any of the um, Google Classrooms that you're enrolled in. For example, I'm enrolled in the iPad coaching class, and if I select that, these are the images um, that I uploaded for one of my assignments. So everything is saved here in your Google Drive, which is great. And you'll remember with Notability, we created a backup. So here's my backup. All of my information is here from each of my subjects. Anytime I add a new note, it's already there for me. Um, everything I've done is saved within here, which is great. So you've got that backup for you. Now let's say your teacher has shared a document with you in Google Drive and you want to get that document into Notability. Let's look at how to do that. So the three horizontal lines on the top left corner are where you're going to tap and you're going to see an option that says shared with me. Now you can do this from the email that you may get if your teacher, oops, if your teacher shares a document with you, but otherwise you can access it from there. So here you can see these are all different files that have been shared with me. Now let's say that I need to go and um, edit one of those in Notability. Um, so let's find one to work with. We'll use this guy. So you can see it's a Google Doc file, so it's automatically opened it up for me in Google Docs. But if I want to, I can tap on this dot 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 in the top right corner. And here's an option for share and export. Now here I've got a whole bunch of different things here that I can do. So I can send a copy, I can print, I can save it as a Word document. Let's try send a copy. And you can send it in PDF or Word. We're going to say PDF. And here we go. This is a familiar section. It's popping up with all the apps that I can send it to. I'm going to send it to Notability. And now that it's been sent to Notability, if I simply go to my Notability app, it's going to pop up and tell me that I've got something new that's been sent to me. I can create a new note. Once it's done loading, I can open that note. And here I can do any of the other features that I already showed you within Notability um, from a Google Doc.